Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. How's it going? You ready to fish with Pete Mena, musky expert? Cause I am. What's going on everybody? It's Friday morning. We're up here in Hayward, Wisconsin at the Hayward Bait and Tackle Shop. As you can see, they just loaded up on some fresh bait. Let's go inside and check it out. Look at this wall. I'm gonna sit here and introduce Pete. Meet Pete Mena. Pete was named one of the top 20 anglers on the planet by Outdoor Life magazine. He's clearly the guy who gives us the best chance to catch one of these elusive fish. We've got weather coming in today, middle of the day. Uh, our first moon period starts about 9.30. We always try and get out before that, but ideally what we're gonna do is hopefully have this front create some activity. So I'm thinking we gotta try a big fish lake first. Are you guys ready? going to just run one sucker at least at first to hopefully cover a little more water. I may end up running two. We'll kind of see how it goes. Are you the pipe master? Or? I think this is uh, going to be an awesome experience. Today. I'm super excited. I've already learned a ton about the fish and how to fish them. It's pretty freaking awesome. Oh, it's just a little one. Or it's off. Well, it's off. Yeah. But you had one? I did, it. yeah. It was definitely a hit. Huh. I got my blood going. I'm supposed to hook them. I, oh yeah, I know. I, <laughs> hey, I cranked the set like you said. Did you have him on at all? I felt him. Yeah, he definitely. I mean, I don't. I don't. But I mean, did the rod load up at all? Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was quick. Damn. Can't be blowing opportunities like that. It doesn't change a darn thing about the experience to know down to a quarter of an inch how long a fish is. So, really the in-boat measuring stuff, in my opinion, shouldn't even be done until you get below 70 degrees. Just leave that part out. And there's floating rulers. Yeah, there's tape. You can get, there's a, it's not a musky, but pikey. You want a net? No. I'll just knock this guy off. Once in a while, we get 40 inches out here. Oh, wow. There's some pretty good ones. Funny thing about pike is they always get every hook. Oh, yeah. See ya. Well, we got out here at about 8, 8.30 or so. We uh, tried a bowl and a point, kind of casting up over the weeds and bringing them out over the deep. Pete caught a northern there. I had a hit, I don't know what it was. We're gonna just say it was a muskie. Then we went out to a second spot, tried an underwater hump, and now we're on to spot number three. Was that accurate, Pete? Fairly accurate, other than I caught two pike. Looking at the radar, it does look like we're gonna get hit by some rain, but hopefully it's not gonna last too long. But Pete says that sometimes fishing in the rain can be a good thing, so see what it brings. We're not scared. You know, unfortunately, this is musky fishing. It's a patterning process that, to be honest, sometimes never comes together. You just keep trying different depths, different types of structure. We've tried actually uh, multiple weed types and, and uh, depth ranges already. This particular spot we just finished on was all rock. Uh, you know, obviously if I 
if we had seen something here for sure, you know, you'd try and concentrate on more rock. That's just what we're doing right now. Trying different baits, different colors. Even though it's kind of a bummer we haven't seen one yet. Uh, that's normal. <laughs> Yeah. Damn. Pretty one. Hot action at least. Hot <laughs> action. Feels really good to actually catch a fish. You know, you cast and cast and cast with not a lot of reward to show for it. So once you get something on, it's kind of fun. The double bladed bucktail. Green and black. Got a nice little northern on it. Needed to be a muskie though. This is the spot. You can feel it. This is the spot. And this is it. This is the spot. The spot. You hear that, Jeff? The spot. It's the spot. The spot. What's the situation? We got high winds and a little bit of rain right now. So we're battening down the hatches, fishing on. Let's go. Crap. We fish spot after spot in the rain and wind. Pete catches a decent northern, but no muskies yet. We're hoping we'll start seeing them once the rain stops. Oh, here we go. That's a muskie, it's not a big one. Where do you want me to be? Ah, uh, just right here. Right here is good? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Mm. He is Mr. Acrobat. Heck yeah. Mr. Acrobat. Little you gonna fella. want an editor? Oh, we might as well. It happens. Now just leave him, leave him right down in the water. He stays down. He is uh 33, 34. Nice. Oh, yeah. Fatty, though, for a little guy. They are pretty, aren't they? Oh, oh yeah, really pretty. pretty. Really pretty in this lake. That's awesome. After. Not the size we came after, but it's production. It's better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick, somebody <laughs> said. That was actually a real cool jump. Yeah, that it was. was. <laughs> All of a sudden, whack. I had to set left-handed, which I don't set to that side very well, but I got them. This is a, uh, a Livingston Lures. It's actually still in the prototype stage. It's, uh, it's called Flipper. But they've got an existing lure called the Jerkmaster. And this essentially what we did is uh, take that lure and add a metal tail to it. Like one of the first couple baits to uh, do that years ago were the Suic and the Bobby. And the metal tail is for a little bit of flash and also you can kind of adjust the depth with it. So. That's the key to a lot of it. There's one, oh, there's one. Keep it tight, keep it tight. That's oh. right. I think that's it's a nice, yeah. It's... Oh, it's a muskie in weeds, or it's a oh, northern in weeds. Bike in weeds. <laughs> Damn. Pretty I was nice like, bike, though. <laughs> I was like, that's a big fish. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't make any progress on that thing. Oh man, that got got me going. That's not a bad pike though. 
<laughs> I set the hook and then all of a sudden I was like, I can barely even like <laughs> gain can anything. Can pull this, this off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. We have fun. <laughs> we have fun. <laughs> well, it's hot action. We're in the window. The rain just stopped. And like Pete said, pretty much right when the rain stops or you get a lull in the rain, action picks up. Inexplainable. Well, we got one muskie so far. I caught another northern. A couple fouls. John missed at least three or four <laughs> and uh, Alex also missed one so yeah what can you do flip 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 it down for you oh there's one yeah. Hey, it doesn't, it's shaking like a musket, but it, I think you might have a big bag. Oh, oh that's oh, yeah. I'm to take the leaderboard. You gotta get it in the net first. One and a half. That's a dandy. Finally caught a fish today, boys. There you go. I think we all caught one. No, right? John has not. I thought he got a northern. No. Nope. Oh. John's the only one that has not caught one. Uh, John again. <laughs> it's a Leech Lake trip all over again. Finally, John didn't catch a fish, so. There's so many other smaller lakes around there. I don't know what this is. Nice, just a nice pike. Uh, I yeah. thought it was darting around. Oh yeah, a little bit, a little better fish. Yeah, you already ate it, dummy. You are caught. Oh, he's probably 30 oh. inches. Yeah, I, I could it. tell. I, I could tell that Good one shot. had a little weight at least, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's not a, not a bad dude there. After 10 hours of fishing, we were wrapping it up. Even though I didn't catch a muskie, it was still a great day. There was a two hour window after the rain and we made the best of it. We voted one muskie, a couple northerns, and a beautiful 20 inch smallmouth bass. Pete taught us a ton and we can't thank him enough for taking us out. If you're new to muskie fishing, we highly recommend hiring a guide. You'll learn more than you would from YouTube and you'll likely find more success too. Muskies suck. And that's a wrap. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you'd like to see what else we're up to, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You exhausted, Alex? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You gonna drink some coffee when you get back? Probably. You gonna shotgun three beers? <laughs>